Welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial page. After viewing this tutorial, you will be able to define quantitative research, decide when quantitative research methods are appropriate, and understand the benefits of quantitative research. Quantitative research uses data that is in the form of numbers. In quantitative research, the sample size can vary from relatively small to very large, depending on the research goals or the statistical power required for analysis. Quantitative research is conducted to understand and explain various phenomena, identify patterns, make predictions, or test hypotheses. Quantitative research methods are used in various disciplines and fields of study, including the social sciences, natural sciences, education, public policy, market research, finance, and many more. While researchers in fields such as anthropology, history, philosophy, literature, and the arts are least likely to use them, Quantitative research methods can be utilized in almost any field where numerical data can provide insight. So how do you determine when you should utilize quantitative research methods? First, you should consider the goal of your research study. Will your study include a large sample size? Can your research questions be answered with numerical data? Are you trying to test a hypothesis? Or perhaps you are trying to draw generalizable conclusions about specific populations. If you answered yes to any or all of these questions, then quantitative research methods are most likely the best choice. Now let's walk through quantitative research methods in practice. Consider this example research question. What administrative communication techniques are most impactful on informing first-generation undergraduate students in the United States about online mental health support since COVID-19? While this research question can be answered through multiple research approaches that are covered in other videos in this series, in this video, we will focus specifically on answering this question quantitatively. We are interested in making a generalizable conclusion about what has been the most impactful for first-generation undergraduate students across the United States, a very large population size. Surveys, a popular quantitative research method, contain questions that are designed to gather specific information from participants, such as their opinions, preferences, behaviors, or any other information that will be useful in addressing the research question. For this research study, we are conducting an online survey among first-generation undergraduate students from across the United States. This survey will be sent out to students via email. The questions included in this survey are closed-ended, meaning each question is followed by predefined answer choices. These questions ask the respondents about their opinions, experiences, and preferences regarding the different communication techniques that have been used by their university's administration to inform students about online mental health support since COVID-19. After we have received an appropriate number of responses, also referred to as a sample, from our survey, we will perform a statistical data analysis to help us better understand and communicate the survey responses. The statistical data analysis will help us identify patterns, trends, and relationships among our sample that can be used to help draw generalizable conclusions about our population. While quantitative research is often labeled as daunting and intimidating because of its relation to statistics, there are many benefits associated with using quantitative research methods, such as objectivity and reliability. Quantitative research studies often allow for large sample size, so the results are generalizable among the population studied. If quantitative research doesn't sound like the best fit for you and your research, check out the other videos in this series to learn about other research methods. In this tutorial, you learned when quantitative research can and should be used and what its benefits are. You also saw an example of a research question being answered quantitatively through a survey. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.